Hello all dance Safarians, welcome back to the basement Daniel Dungeon. Today I'm going to show you guys my collection of farm animals and horses. There are at least 100 of them right in this pile right here, okay? So let's begin. Okay guys, so let's begin. First figure right here is actually a beautiful black horse. It is actually a Frisian mare. This is actually a female horse. So basically mares are known as female horse. I think when I was younger, I don't really know, but you know, recently, after I made Dan Safari channel, I began to know more about horses. And this one right here is actually a zebra. They also came from the same family as horses. Next up, we have a pig right here, and this is actually a what it what is called a Hampshire pig. So I'm gonna put this in the farm animals box, okay? Next, we have a peacock. So this peacock, um, I mean, it's not exactly a farm animals, but we can actually put all our birds together with farm animals. Next, another pig right here. This is actually a female pig, which is known as a soul. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at this majestic looking horse. Let's take a well, I mean, if you take a look at the hairstyle, he or she looks really stylish for sure. Tinker, I think the Tinker is actually the species name. The long hair that covers the Tinker's lower legs is known as feathering. Yeah, this is known as feathering. Okay, let's move on. Another horse right here. Okay, this one looks equally beautiful. Tennessee walking horse. So I think they are known for their very, very good temperature. These horses are good natured and come in many different colors. That is very cool. Next stop. Um, this should be a billy goat. Yes, this definitely belongs into the um, farm, animal farm animal box. Black sheep, we have two of the exact same figures. I'm trying to find the other one, maybe later on. Yep, this is a black sheep. I know the fact, um, one fact about black sheep. You guys know the nursery rhyme, Baba Black Sheep. I think this nursery rhyme is like over, probably over 100 years or at least. Yeah, I'm not kidding you guys. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I mean, check it out. Next up, another horse, and um, this horse is a really, really unique um, tail, I guess, and hair. You can see it is like painted with metallic paint. So let's read about this. What is this first? This is actually an Arabian mare. Um, so it's a female horse. Arabians were originally bred by Bedouins for their speed and endurance. Okay, Not, nothing was mentioned about the shiny hair. Next. Let's take a look at this. Oh, this one looks pretty interesting. It actually has like curly hair. So what is this? Palomino Mustang Man. Palomino. Okay, so let's see what is written right here. Queen Isabella of Spain originally brought this horse to North America. So yeah, cool horse. This car I think is known as a Guernsey car. I know that this car is actually very popular among dairy farmers because they are very very gentle, they are very well natured and they produce like lots of milk. Golden Retriever, I am thinking of getting a Golden Retriever. I, I do have a um, um, Shih Tzu. Uh, I feel like getting another dog. Yeah, I love Golden Retrievers. What do you guys think? Should I get a Golden Retriever? Next stop. We have a um, beautiful Shire horse foal. Foal is basically, um, you know, a young horse. Okay, with this one right here, it's a really, really strong looking horse, guys. I mean, take a look at the muscles. And I love the feathering on um, the legs. So this is actually known as a Shire horse man. It's a female horse. I know that female horse, they are generally like easier to tame and easier to train because they are more well-natured, good-natured. This is a Holstein cow, which is also a very popular cow among dairy farmers. Okay, with a beautiful white horse, and uh, it also has like curly hair. Let's take a look at this. What is this? Andalusian stallions. Stallions are basically uncastrated um, horses. Yep, male horses. Castrated horses are known as gelding because um, people actually castrate horses because it makes them easier to train and it makes them less temperamental. 
Okay, so this is known as an um, Andalusian stallion. Cavalry officers prized its agility. Okay, nice. What about this one right here? This it's a let's see, what is this? Perwatsky horse. I've no idea what this is about. Perwatsky is the only truly wild horse left. It has never been domesticated. I guess this type of horse it's um pretty um aggressive in some ways, I guess. We have a macaw, so I actually put all my birds um figures along with the farm animals. And what is this? Another really beautiful head um, horse. Hell Hefflinger Man. And um, this sturdy pony has a beautiful golden coloring and white or blonde mane and tail. Okay, nice. This one is another really really interesting um, horse you can see. It has like plenty of like hair on its body. Bashkir curly. Bashkir curly. So let's see. Known for the curly fur, Bashkirs are said to be the only hypoallergenic breed of horse, which means that if you are sensi sensitive to like um, hair and um, horse, this is the only one that you may not be sensitive um, to. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is this? This is a really beautiful one. I really love the patterns on this body. Let's see. What is this called? It is called a Pinto Mustang Stallion. So Pinto is basically uh, the name used to describe the distinctive patch coloring. Okay. Another zebra right here. We have a snowy hour. This should be known as a Phoenix Rooster. Oh, and speaking of rooster, speaking of our farm animals, I do have a playset which is sitting right over there for like the longest time. I have yet to, you know, find time to actually unbox this to show you guys. We have a turkey right here. And uh, what is this? Let's take a look. This is known as Palamino Mustang Stallion. Is that the same one? Yeah, I think so, right? It is. Oh, I think it's the same one. I think we got two figures. I'm trying to see. Okay, this is a Palamino. Oh, this is a man. This is a stallion. So this is a female one and this is a male one. Uh, yeah. Yep, Palamino horses are a color pattern and can be of any breed. So this is a, actually to describe the colors on his body. What about this one? This one looks really interesting. White cross with some dark spots. Nap stropper. The nap stropper spots um, made it popular among made it a popular choice among European nobility during the 1800s. Looks really really cool. Yeah, very unique. I must say, I've never you know never seen this before. So this is a um, Lipizzaner stallion. Okay, so Lipizzaner. These white stallions are famous for their dressing performances. Okay, nice. We have another sow right here, which is a female pig sow. A cardinal, a red bird. Looks really beautiful. I don't have much facts about this. Bald eagle. I know that eagles, they can fly to extreme heights and they have really good eyesight. We have a sheep right here. And of course, their wool can be used to, you know, create plenty of um, stuff like pillows and stuff oh this one looks really beautiful as well let's take a look gypsy vanner stallion okay so standing at 14 to 16 hands the strong yet gentle nature makes them a pleasure to ride and they definitely look very majestic i mean take a look at the hair it looks so beautiful another horse right here a really beautiful one clydesdale stallion and um, the famous Clydesdale horse is over six feet tall. Nice one. And um, here we have a bunch of um, we have some chum chicks right over here. The Baba black sheep that I was talking about just now. Another soul, and this one is a really really huge figure, a uh, really beautiful one. Uh, we have a um, great horned owl. Okay the wings outspread that looks really cool and this is a goat probably a billy goat 
a voucher. Do you guys know that voucher they actually feed on carcasses and they will actually attack the dying animals and even like human beings? This is a token. Okay. Um, yeah, I have actually seen you know related birds to a token, a hornbill. Yeah, they are very common around my area. We have an ostrich, which is a flightless bird. They can't fly, but they can run really fast. Okay, what is this? I have no idea what this horse is called, guys. There's no name written right below. And this is a... what is this? A thoroughbred stallion. The thoroughbred can be characterized as the worst, fastest horse breed. Wow, this is the fastest horse breed that you're looking at. This is probably um, a thoroughbred as well. Could be. Looks like we have another thoroughbred. Probably. Yep, thoroughbred. This is also the fastest horse in the world. This one looks like a Prowotsky horse, guys. Yeah, it could be a Prowotsky wild horse. We have a white foal. Hello, me no foal. Yeah, nice. And this one, this one looks really cool. It, it has got to be, you know, um, the most stylish horse in my collection, at least in the top three. Fjord is known as Fjord, one of the oldest horse breeds. The Fjord was used by Vikings for riding and front work. Cool, cool stuff. A pot belly pig, okay. This is definitely in the um, farm animal box with a pelican, belongs to the bird collection. And this is a Morgan man. Let's read some facts about this. All Morgans are descendants of the stallion Justin Morgan, okay. That's cool. And uh, we have a um, not too sure what this is a small little horse. And this is a quagger, it is actually like a um extinct animal which is uh, related to zebras but I think that scientists are trying to um, bring them back yeah so we have plenty of zebras right over here okay and um, here we have a long eared hour and um, this birds actually used nests that are left behind by you know other birds such as crows and hawks I'm not too sure what to think about this are they like clever or come on? I mean, can't you build your own nest? Okay, this is a hen, a really beautiful one. And another horse, and what type of horse is this, guys? Let's take a look at this. Quarters, quarter horse gelding. Uh, gelding means it has been castrated, so you can take a look. Um, you know, the private part it's actually not there anymore. Okay, I don't really know how to describe it except to call it private part. Yep, so castrated male horses are known as gelding. The reason why they are being castrated is because it makes them easier to train, it makes their temperament better. Yep, the quarter horse is the supreme mount of the American West. Nice. So this one is really cool, it actually comes with a rider. So let's read what is this Audrey on streaming light. So. Gypsy vanner are easily recognizable by their long flowing means and their tails. So this is actually a gyps gypsy vanner horse and the name of this horse is known as Streaming Light. Cool. This is a hyacinth parrot, okay? Um, yeah, it's a blue parrot basically. This is a Americana chicken. Americana chickens are one of the only breeds that lay blue eggs. Blue eggs, guys! Blue eggs! I have never seen blue chicken eggs before. Have you? I have never seen them before. Uh, a donkey definitely belongs to the um, horse family. A beautiful black horse. Uh, I think this is a pinto. I'm not 100% sure. And uh, we have a cockatoo right here. Another dog, which is, which is probably a golden retriever. A dog. I really want to know what is the breed or the species name of this dog because I have no idea and I think it's supposed to have a species name It is just written as a duck right below which is kind of disappointing This is a flamingo A um, albatross, an albatross, okay A beautiful um, horse but I don't know the breed of this What is this? A foal? And uh, let's see, Clydesdale foal, yeah nice um, a Clydesdale foal will grow up to 
weigh as much as a small car. Nice. Rock hopper penguin. And what do we have right here? Oops, it came off. Oh my goodness. This is a modern stallion. And uh, let's see what is written right here. The modern horse is the stick animal of Vermont. Nice. We have a piglet right here, guys. A really cute piglet. Take a look at this, how adorable it is. The reason piglets roll in the mud is because they do not have sweat glands. Do they have sweat glands when they grow up? Probably. I'm not 100% sure. This is a rabbit, okay? So, rabbits, they use their keen sense of smell and hearing to detect predators. Cool. Let's see what else we've got. A um, rooster. We have a Siamese cat, okay? A really beautiful um, cat, I must say. A billy goat. And um, a foal, but I have no idea what this is, what breed or species this is. This is probably a Holstein cow. A small little cute hog foal. Not too sure what is the exact breed, but it looks super cute. And well, Blue Macaro, this is um, you know, we have two of the same similar figures. And this, it's a Black Forest host. Two figures here. Bantam Hem and um, a Rockhopper Penguin. That's right. So that is all guys. So thanks for watching this. So this is basically my collection of horses and farm animals right here. The farm animals will continue to expand. I'm pretty sure horses, maybe, maybe not. And yes, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.